Okay, so before we install the control software on the computer, first we need to check what kind of system that installed on the computer. We go to my computer and check. Here it show Windows 10 system. So if your computer is Windows 10, so we need to do some setting first before we install the control software. We open the support folder and find out the control software. And here first, uh, we need to do some setting on Windows 10, so we click it. Here we have two methods to do the, the signature setting. First, we just click it directly to run it. But before you click this file, you need to save the job on your computer. Because if you click it, then the computer will start to reboot automatically. So if you, but this way you cannot install the control software succeed. Then we need to do, use another method to do the setting of your signature. So we open the file. We do as the file step by step. Here already have teach you how to do the setting step by step. So first, I click the setting and go to safety and we go to recovery, click advanced stop, then choose start now, restart now. And then after restart, then we choose the troubleshooting. When we go to troubleshooting here, here have the advanced option. Then we choose startup setting and here we click restart again. After restart, then we press 7. Disable driver signature option. Then the machine, then the computer will restart again. After restart, then we install the Nebula 62F control software again to your computer. So we go to here, we go to setting and safety. And here we go to recovery. Here have advanced setting and press here to restart. Then to the setting as the user menu step by step. So after we did the, the signature setting, then we can start to install the control software. Okay, now we can start to install the software on the computer for the Box Nebula C2F printer. So first we need to install the control software. Before we install the control software, we must check the system of our computer. If our computer is Windows, Windows 10 system, so we need to do some setting of the signature of the computer. So we do the setting as the menu. After we do the setting of the computer, then we can start to install the control software. We find out the folder named Fergus Nebula 60F support folder from the USB flash that goes with the machine delivery. We open the package to find out the USB flash and copy the folder to the computer, to your local disk. Then we open the folder and we can see they have some information inside. So first we open the control software. We find out the installation file. We double click it. Before we install, we need to close the antivirus software from your computer. Then we choose language by English version. Then click yes. Then the printer starts to install the software. We click yeah, next, and install the folder you want to put. We suggest to install to disk C, disk D for big memory. Then click next, next, install. And repair, next, then finish. Then start to install the driver or the battery, then modify.
next next then click finish after we install the control software we will find an icon named Fox Nebula 62F DTF control system on your local disk desktop when we double click it we open it it will show you print not found because we not connect the USB cable to the computer so later we we can power on the machine and connect the USB cable between the printer and the computer that we can run in the system the control system so this is the auto procedure to install the control software before we install the rip software and use the, the software rip software we need to find out the dongle key from the package we insert the dongle key to the computer USB port and to be sure the light is on the green light is on after we put the dongle to the computer then we can start to install the rip software and using the rip software so please remember we must put the dongle key to the computer before you using and install the rip software after we install the control software we can start to install the rip software so we also open the folder and we find out the rip software before we install the rip we need to insert the USB dongle key from the package and take out the blue key then insert to your computer please remember we need to insert put the USB key dongle key to your computer during installation and doing, during the using if you not put USB key for using the lib software will have have icon inside for the picture so we insert the key and we double click to install and choose English version then click yes and then choose next accept the agreement and press next 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 and click next next install if I show you already have the rip we just ignore ignore because my computer already installed the rip before so if you recover it if you install to the same folder you know to recover it then click repair next finish and next finish okay then we install the rip finish then we also have an icon named rip print from the top desktop we double click it to open it Okay, when we open it, it will show you the demonstration, the mark on the top here. If that have this demonstration mark, then it means we don't have put the dongle key to the computer. So we put the dongle key to the computer, and we ensure remove that demonstration. Then first we go to the rip. We open. We go to choose the left top icon, box rip. We double click it. We, we, we right, left click it then we go to print setting then we choose the EPS 4720 
as default. If it is not default, then you will choose it and set as default. We must be sure this model for DTF printing. Then click exit. So this is, if we can got this interface, that means we install the rip succeed. So this is all the procedure to install the rip software.